Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to show you my PlayStation Vita stand. Um, it's, it's made out of plexiglass. It's lightweight and very easy to put together. You place your Vita into two of those plastic cradles and the handheld will stand up straight. It's nice for display purposes. Now I don't have to hold the damn Vita close to the camera anymore. It comes in three different colors, transparent, frosted, and black. It's only $6.49 plus tax and shipping and handling. The link will be in the description below. Other than that, if you guys are ready, let's get started. What is up, dudes and dudettes? Hope everyone's well. It is June 23rd of 2020. It is a hot and muggy day out today. Definitely a swamp ass day. Um, today I'm going to show you how to download custom themes from this website that I will be linking down below to the computer. And you can transfer the custom theme from the computer to your PlayStation Vita without actually downloading the Vita themes from the Vita to your Vita if you have like a data cap or you got like really piss poor internet connection. So here we go. Right now I'm just showing you the mini grid, list, and grid. All it is is just showing you um, what, what you want to view and how you want to view the themes on the website itself. Uh, mini grid is the best because you can see a bunch of them all at once. So I'm just scrolling through a few of them. I already found um, the custom theme that I want to do this um, test and project on already. So it's going to be The Legend of Zelda. I don't know if you guys remember about me talking about how some of these themes are really piss poor. And they're very colorful and loud and noisy. Where it, there's too much on the screen. What I'm trying to say is that if there's too much going on in the background. Um, it's just going to be such a mess. It's going to look messy. And it's just not going to look great as a... PlayStation Vita wallpaper. Um, there's too much going on. The you can't, you won't be able to see the bubbles very well, and everything will just be mixed all together, and it just, it just wouldn't look good. Now, to me, validation means a lot, because um, you don't want to download a broken ass theme, and for have it not to work and stuff like that. But I do believe you could edit the XML file within the Vita shell. I mean, you could edit the config dot whatever the extension is in the Vita shell if we need to. So I don't see why you couldn't do it with the uh, theme.xml file, but I'd rather go with 100% of a working theme instead of downloading a theme that's broken. And also might just give you problems trying to install the silly theme. So 100% is the way to go to me. Um, right here I'm showing you that you can see the validation. So you can check out the theme before you actually start downloading it. But it's totally up to you. I. I would just do it just in case, you know, better safe than sorry. Um, so I'm just showing you guys right here on the screen that you could scroll down. And if you see like an error, it'll be uh, not a check mark, as you can tell. <laughs> but um, it checks out well, checks out fine. So you're good to go. Go back, close that page out, click on download. As you can tell in the far left hand corner, um, it's downloading right now. It takes a few seconds. It's uh, not that big of a file, but there's plenty of pictures in there. Boot up your PlayStation Vita, and uh, from here we're going to show you how to get to the Vita shell if you modded your system already. This is the uh, PlayStation Vita Steam theme. I really like it because I like the colors. It's easy on the eyes for me. So you load up the PlayStation Vita shell, and once you get into here, you hit the select button. Once you hit the select button, you'll get the box for the FTP server numbers. Let's go back to the PC. Now once you're over on the computer side, you just want to minimize that web browser, open up a file manager, open up another one, so it's going to be much easier to transfer files over. Um, either, or, either or can be the FTP and or the computer side. So as you can see on my right hand side, that's the download folder of the theme. I just opened it up with WinRare, and I'm going to enter in the FTP numbers on the left hand window. Go down the UXO, double click on that, go, to, go down to custom theme, double click on that. Now you want to create a folder. Now it all depends on how many folders you already have in there. So since I have five, I got to create theme six. Now if I only had two, I would have to create three, theme three. Now in the WinRare window, you just want to highlight all of all the files. And you just want to drag and drop to the PS Vita server. As you can tell, it's going to take a little, well, not really a little while, but a couple of seconds. 
All right. So that's just finishing up right now. And once this is completely transferred over, you're all set. You don't need the computer anymore. Now, since you're back over at the PS Vita side, you want to close out the FTP message. Now you want to get out of the Play-Doh, the Play yeah, the Vita shell. Um, you want to go back to the main menu. You want to click on Custom Theme Manager. Wait a few seconds till it loads. Now I'm just showing you that since you install the theme, it's not actually there yet, but it is in the Vita itself. But you haven't really installed it. So I'm going to show you how to install it right now. Um, the nice thing is about this, it tells you uh, directions on how to go about installing it. So the third one down says hit start. Now you want to hit start again, and the custom theme is installed. So much easier to do it from a computer to the Vita um, for anybody who has like a bad internet connection or data cap. So as you see right there, you saw The Legend of Zelda. I installed it, and this is what it looks like. Definitely not a fan, like I said, it's too much it's too loud i don't like the bubbles at all it just doesn't look good to me but i just want to give you an example of what i was trying to convey and trying to tell you guys um as you can tell i have a hard time explaining things i've always had that problem even in school so that's it that's the zelda theme for you let's say you don't want the theme anymore you want to delete it completely go to the custom themes manager open that application back up now on the very top row, far to the right hand side, you'll see like a paper bag with a bunch of uh, pictures sticking out of it. Hit that button and choose the theme you want to uninstall. So I want to install the Zelda one. You hit X and right from here you hit start and it'll totally delete everything from that folder, even the folder itself. So you can uninstall themes right from your PlayStation Vita instead of going back to the computer, FTP and the whole thing and doing it from there. And you get a check mark and you're done. Now you don't have the uh, theme on your Vita anymore. As you can tell, the theme is not there. Legend of Zelda is totally gone. I'm going to show you the themes I do have installed with the lock screen and the backgrounds for the PlayStation Vita. So if you want to bear with me, you can. Um, the Death Stranding is awesome. It looks great. It also comes with uh, one of the uh, songs from the video game itself. Um, I can't play it for copyright reasons. But that's a lock screen, home screen. Looks badass. And this is the Death Stranding one. It's 100% verified. Validate, I should say. My bad. So that's the Death Stranding. And I'll show you uh, the rest of them right here. The Firewatch. Great video game. It's a walking simulator. It's uh, To me, I think it's a, it was a beautiful game. Storyline was great. The graphics were beautiful. Um, I just don't like these three backgrounds because they use the same photo. I think, I don't know, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Been up since three. But that's the uh, lock screen. Um, plays one of the tracks from the game. Um, the game was great. Uh, the theme's all right. I think I'm going to uninstall that, actually delete that forever. Um, because I'm not really a fan of it anymore. This one's pretty cool. I like uh, space type stuff. I'm big into UFOs and aliens and uh, nonsense like that and Bigfoot and UFOs in the Antarctic and under the ice. But um, anyway, this is the space theme. Looks kind of cool. I like it. It's easy on the eyes. I like the blue. Um, the stars can get a little wonky and stuff like that. As in your eyes, make your eyes all googly. So that's the space theme there. It's not bad. The Steam theme, I really enjoy a lot because I do like the blue. Blue is a pretty color anyway. Yes, I'm a guy that says pretty. Um, you call me what you want. But uh, I think it just looks great. I don't have Steam for the computer, so I assume this is the same color as what you get on the computer. And it just looks simple. I like it. Hope you guys like the video. Um, it takes a little while for me to edit all these together and piece things together, but I really do hope you guys enjoy them, and it's informational. I'm still having fun with this. It's still brand new to me, just like anything else. But um, hopefully I'll catch you guys later. Um, links will be in the description, and hopefully you and I can, you guys and I will can chat through the uh, comment section below. Um, take care, everyone, and be kind to one another too, please.